Hey guys, welcome to another vlog on House of Horror. It's your boy T, and we are going to be watching the movie Spell. <laughs> Spell is a movie directed by Mark Tondurai. He's done a couple episodes on a bunch of shows, but not much as far as movies. He's worked on stuff like Gotham. He's worked on stuff like Lost Lock and Key. So this is starring Amari Hardwick. He plays Marquis. Uh, I'd say his best known role would be Power. Uh, and it also stars Loretta Devine, who plays Eloise, uh, the main antagonist in the movie, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, she's been in tons of stuff. She's been in Blackish. She's been in Supernatural. One of her bigger roles was Waiting to Exhale, as yeah. Adri told me. Um, <laughs> so I'm T. By the way, I'm T. This I'm is A. a and this is House of Horror. This is a, just a, a vlog that I'm doing. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of my goal to watch every horror movie. So we're going through that. The overview is... A man crash lands in rural Appalachia and awakens in the attic of a traditional voodoo priestess uh, and he, des he desperately tries to break free from her dark magic spell and save his family from a sinister ritual before the rise of the blood moon. So that's what this story was about. Uh, we're going to quickly just go through and review this. You know, we're early into this process, so we're just getting it down. Uh, okay, so we're going to give it, I'm going to give it some scores, but since I watch a lot of these movies with my girl, uh, I was like, hey, why not review it with me? Kind of get two perspectives. Kind of thought it would be fun. Yeah. So let's go. Uh, uh, first of all, what did you think? about the setting of the this setting movie. was good i mean there were really only i think four sets probably that they really had to worry about mm -hmm. um the one that i kind of liked the most actually was the attic okay. just because there's so much to look at i guess in it um yeah it's pretty it's kind of cool that's kind of what you thought yeah. uh for me i didn't mind the setting like you said it had a lot of kind of cliche set pieces i mean the attic was kind of the best but i mean it really didn't take place in too many places because of really the predicament amari was in like yeah. the entire time so but i did feel like it was very desolate and i did feel like it was some backcountry shit south one child no i'm around these parts we're going up for my daddy's funeral. Yeah. Where like, yeah, where dudes were like fucking not coming for you. You know what I mean? So I did feel like a bit of a desperation from there. So I'm going to go ahead and give the setting a three out of five. What did you think about the scare factor of this one? Did it scare you? Well, I really found that this movie was more of a skeleton key. Okay. So you would give movie. it, you would give it a little bit better score when it comes to creep factor. Yeah. Because I voodoo and all this supernatural stuff kind of creeps me out yeah. like a lot so yeah that kind of shit really creeps me out yeah yeah i'm gonna agree with you <laughs> i didn't think that this movie was very scary at all it did not have me jumping out of my seat i don't think that was the point of it but i mean if that's what we're here to watch scary movies well if the shit ain't scary so uh <laughs> when it comes to the scare factor i'm definitely gonna have to give it a one out of five unfortunately on this one next we're gonna jump into the creep factor so uh, just a, a little bit of an overview. I know this is our first, so I mean, I'm not, I haven't been keeping up properly, but uh, there are different criteria. So, scare factors, how scary the movie is. Creep factor is whether it left kind of that uneasy feeling kind of in you. So, Adri, what did you think about this movie's creepiness? The creepiness, yeah, it was, they had a lot of really good tension moments in it. It was kind of creepy. There were moments that I was like, holding my breath because i'm thinking oh shit this guy's gonna he's gonna get <laughs> yeah but <laughs> absolutely yeah so yeah it was creepy enough you found it creepy enough yeah. for me i'm gonna say the only okay so for me there was a little bit of creepiness to it i would say that the most creepy thing was that goddamn boogity doll <laughs> this it stands for you whatever happens to it happens to you Oh, the boogity yeah. doll was creepy, man. The way his eyes looked around mm -hmm. the room and shit, mad creepy. And it, most deaf when he was on screen, that did give me a feeling of uneasiness. I guess the only other thing I would say is that the movie had really good tension. And I know that that's not necessarily creepiness, but I don't know how else. But when he was trying to escape, man, mm -hmm. you definitely felt something. Like they yeah. do a lot of close calls. I don't know how realistic some of the close calls were. Like, there's one part where he was, like, on a roof and he got back and... I don't know. Yeah. I don't uh, know yeah, I like, Tell us what you see. 
couple know, little bit of hokiness right there. Know, but yeah. either way, uh, you know, it, I so for me, I'm gonna give it a uh, creep factor three out of five because, like I said, the boogity doll was creepy and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It wasn't. So the next thing that we usually score on here is I'm going to be scoring about the gore factor. It's not going to add to the overall score of the movie because not everybody needs gore or some movies are great without gore. But I do love gore in horror <laughs> movies. So I am going to add it. So if you want to see like mad blood, you'll be able to get that. So I am going to ask you, what did you think about the gore? I didn't find a lot of gore. Mm -hmm. But there was one part that I was so... It was fucking disgusting. Yeah. It was, I know exactly was what part... I have a feeling I know what part you're talking about. Yeah. So that part, yeah. I would say that's kind of gory. The goriness? But, oh yeah, I just had a flashback. I need an ambulance. Wait, that was gross. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I would actually agree 100%. The movie is not very gory at all, but... There is something with uh, his foot, which is, <laughs> he has a problem with his foot this entire movie. Uh, and basically, it is disgusting. He does something with it. A couple times he has to redo uh, something, and it is like the worst. Yeah. Like the blood and the pus that comes out. Oh, Even the pus, they got the perfect oh, pus color. Oh, it was fucking gross. But yeah. anyways, um, other than that, there was one part where they flashed like some cut genitals. Oh, yeah. Like the genitals were like cut off completely. Yep, yep. Other than that, though, it wasn't that. very gory. If I'm giving it an honest score, I would give it a two out of five because that foot shit. <laughs> that foot shit was brutal, man. That was yeah. like tough to say. So yeah. the next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the acting and the characters. Uh, basically, just kind of in one, you know, did you like the acting? Did you think it was believable? Did you like the characters in this movie or did you hope they all died? <laughs> so I don't know that's just a sometimes that's what you hope so what did you think about the characters and stuff yeah I like the characters I like the acting I like those actors mm -hmm. so actors and actresses so I was expecting that kind of acting I guess and the quality the characters the, I wish they would have built the characters up a little bit more okay earlier mm -hmm. but I guess that's not overly the point of the movie yeah i guess it wasn't really a like, character piece and it's a horror like, movie like yeah. it's not about the it's not about the characters yeah, yeah, yeah exactly so yeah yeah i, I feel you <laughs> uh when it comes to the characters i'm just gonna give a full disclosure i don't really like omari hardwick i have never liked him since power i know i have to say this man i need to get it out <laughs> he's just so dodgy and shifty in that show like some of the things he does in that show I know he's hard in some that parts, means but that he's a good actor. No, I know, but it's just I for some reason I just picture him in real life being like a cold dude, man. Like after the shit he did to Tasha, and even in this he's movie, he's probably the nicest guy. Yeah, he could be nice but cold, man. It's just cold. Like I can just tell. Like he doesn't feel like he give you like many hugs for nothing. Wow. I don't know. Maybe he does. I don't know. But either way, yeah. So I got to give that full disclosure. But I did find a lot of the acting and his pain and desperation in the movie like yeah. quite realistic. So it wasn't too bad. Um, when it comes to Eloise, her character, they, I find that she really pushes the old back bayou voodoo thing. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't buying it. Like even the accent just felt, y'all come around now, yeah? Like it was just so overacted. Where you think you is? New York City. <laughs> Her voodoo, I, I wasn't 100% believing it. I don't know, that's just me. Mm -hmm. uh, so when it comes down to the actors, I would probably um, give the movie about a two out of five when it comes to acting and actors. They also didn't have many actors. It really only focused around the two. Yeah. I mean, even the family, it didn't really focus around too, yeah. too hard. So the next uh, thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the story. So Adri, what do you think about the story, baby? I really like the story, actually. I really like, even though I'm superstitious, I really like watching a lot of voodoo and... <laughs> This is for your own good. Yeah. The back country kind of stuff. And, yeah, you do like uh, that Louisiana, kind of stuff. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so you do. I like that kind of stuff. So 
I like the story. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, what did you think? Oh, okay. Story-wise, I didn't mind the story at all. I did like, I you. Um, this isn't a, a spoiler, but you could quickly tell it's about voodoo and stuff like that. It starts pretty early showing you the overtones mm -hmm. of that. You can almost unravel where the movie goes from there. In the start, I did get a very misery vibe with the crippled foot. Oh, yeah. But it did take a turn and kind of yeah. took it away from there. I was afraid that they were going to just be like, I was like, oh, man, this is black misery. But it wasn't. A lot of the... Uh, but, okay, so here's the one thing I will say. A lot of the conclusions I did find kind of predictable. Yeah. You sat there. I literally picked out half the movie, which was kind of sad. So I would probably give the story a two out of five. I wasn't, like, yeah. in, like extremely enthralled or anything like that. But yeah. it was entertaining enough. So I'm going to go with an overall score. You're not really doing the score. But you can yeah. still tell us what you thought. What did you think about the movie just, like, overall? I would say two and a half for three okay yeah sweet is there any reasons are you just yeah you're just oh. gonna give a score no it's all good it's all good if you just want to give your score just give your score i'll give my reasons it was just i like the creep factor in it mm -hmm. and the voodoo and stuff and that's probably why i would give it a 2.5 ah uh, okay okay uh me personally i would give it a three uh although it wasn't a bad movie nothing definitely stood out to me except for a few little choice parts um i mean it, it wasn't a waste of time yeah. Do you know? Overall, the tension building was actually quite good. I enjoyed that much part of the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, it did. It didn't really have any jump scares, but it did try to build a good scary creepiness yeah. to it. It wasn't just completely lame. Yeah. Uh, it is a middle of the road movie. I wouldn't like go out of my way to suggest this. Um, I would probably i don't know there is a lot better out there but like i said you're not really <laughs> wasting your time you know what i yeah. mean so uh yeah if it would be good if there was nothing else to watch but i mean i wouldn't i don't know yeah. three uh, you know three is actually a little bit better than average because i mean i didn't fall asleep during this movie yeah. so i mean for me that means i was at least engrossed that much that's why mm -hmm. i had to give it another little tiny bump to above middle of the road so mm -hmm. yeah thanks for joining me for this we are gonna have a lot more kind of loose reviews for you like i said i'm kind of approaching this channel more as a vlogger i'm not really a hardcore reviewer i just want to watch every single horror movie tell you guys about them uh we'll be back next time with plenty of reviews plenty of other horror related content uh trailer reactions mm -hmm. all that stuff like i said i watch a lot of this stuff with my girl so you're gonna get some solo me but you're gonna also get some of her so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed it see you next time peace, peace. <laughs>